And the question for today's video is what qualities do you believe make a great nurse and why? The ability to see ahead. To be humble or show humility. Humility. Being a good advocate. Accountability. Preparation. Adaptability. Thorough. A helpful nurse. Caring. A lot of love in their heart. Patience. Patience for your patience. What is up you guys? It is Jazz. Welcome to my new faces and if you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. So in today's video, the saga continues. We are now on video number three of our Nurses Answer series. Before we go ahead and jump into this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of my nurses that participated in this video. If you saw the first two videos, you're going to recognize a lot of familiar faces that are back again for this video number three. And we do also have one new face for today's video. So a special shout out to Nick. Nick is also one of my old nursing school classmates and he was so kind to decide to join in for this round of prompts. So thank you, Nick, for joining in this time around and thank you to all my other nurses who are back again. If you haven't checked out the first two videos of this Nurses Answer series, definitely make sure to go watch those videos after this one as well. The first video I did of this series is all about nursing school advice and the second video is all about favorite class of nursing school. So for this third video today, I took to my panel of nurses and the question for today's video is what qualities do you believe make a great nurse and why? I don't wanna waste too much more time with introductions, so we're just gonna hop right in. First up, we're gonna hear from Janai, Jason, and Ricardo, who all think that being a thorough and or very well-prepared nurse is a very important quality to have. There are so many qualities that make up a great nurse, but to break it down to the top three that I think and have seen and try to be is one, thorough. That's thorough in your head to toe assessments, thorough in giving meds and checking the vitals that you need to or the labs to make sure that those meds are safe for your patient or to knowing the protocols and procedures that you need to follow and that are in place to optimize the outcome of your patients is so, so important. And seeing a thorough nurse at work is really so inspiring for me. So that's number one. Uh, the next one is preparation. Uh, since you have so many responsibilities, so many things to take care of, you have to have your preparation down because you don't want to come into work um, not knowing what's going on or what to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you work on a specific unit and if you aren't too well versed in it read up on your cardiac read up on your med surge stuff you know read up on your er meds or whatever you know i'm a psych nurse so read up on your psych meds or something get familiar with stuff so you don't just walk in blindly me personally i only have one true answer for this one is the ability to see ahead able to work ahead is really good because like if you're if you know what where you're going where the patient's gonna be what you need ahead of time, you can get it done. You can just prepare and plan so much quicker. It's it's better than just like letting things happen as they're, as they're happening. Cause like, if, if you know a patient's gonna go out for a procedure the next day, just get, make sure that they're all, all their labs are good. Make sure any consent that needs to be signed, that, that's signed. So when whenever that procedure is, whenever they're ready, whenever IR is ready or, or Nuke man is ready, like you can just send your patient, you don't have any holdups. All right, I just love all of that from all three of those great nurses. Basically, what we're getting from the three of them is that nurses have a bunch of responsibilities on their plate at all times. And so therefore, the ability to think ahead, prepare, and follow through with those action steps in a very thorough manner is something that is crucial for nurses to learn as an important skill. Nurses are really the main people that do the direct care day to day with patients. And so the healthcare team kind of expects that the nurse is the one that's on top of 
everything, knows that patient head to toe, and can really speak up for that patient and advocate for them. So I really love how a handful of people mentioned this as a crucial skill of nurses. Next up, we're going to hear from Nick and Danielle, who both say that having humility is an important trait of nurses. I think the best quality a nurse can have is to be humble or show humility because you gotta know what you don't know. You gotta know when to ask for help on something, when to get other nurses advice, and please don't be too proud to ask a nurse to help you with a task or something like that. Because, I mean, I get it. You don't wanna bother other nurses and, and potentially make them fall behind. But if you yourself fall behind because you don't wanna bother anybody else and, and then you get backed up on your tasks or you know charting or whatever, Who's really gonna suffer from that? You know, if you think about it, it's the patients, you know, they're getting their care delayed because, you know, you don't wanna bother another nurse, which, you know, fine, but we're there for the patient. So I think, you know, being humble, showing humility, those are super important if you're a nurse. But the first one is humility. So do I take pride in taking care of someone who's likely at the lowest point of their lives? Do I take pride in telling someone that they need all these medications, all these procedures done, all this extra help just to live? No. When you think about it, no one wants to be at the hospital and no one wants to have uh, more help or to be taken care of because you just wanna be as independent as you can. So the moment you clock into work, you are now responsible for another person's life. You have to do everything in your power to ensure they can get through the day. And it can range from just giving them medications or to comforting them after hearing the worst news of their life. And being a nurse isn't easy because it's not only about you. You're there for your patient at their lowest. And that is why a great nurse has humility. Now, I just love this because Nick and Danielle both talk about showing humility from two different perspectives. On one hand, we have Nick mentioning being humble in your interaction with other nurses. Whereas on the other hand, we have Danielle mentioning that humility is important in regards to your patients and remembering how important it is that you are someone who is taking care of other people at quite possibly some of the worst times of their life. And so all around, we see that having this humility is a good quality to have, not only to carry in our interaction with our patients, but as well as with other members of the healthcare team and other nurses. Next up, we're gonna hear from Janai with her second quality, as well as Karen as she shares her quality. Number two is a helpful nurse, helpful to their patients in doing anything that they need for them, but also I think it's also important that they're helpful to everybody else to their fellow co-workers, to their fellow nurses, because you can't do everything yourself. You think you can, but you really can't. So it's really important that we rely on each other as nurses. I have nurses that ask me every single shift, like, are you okay? Do you need any help? And that just makes the difference. It helps us out and it helps us be there for our patients more because everybody needs help. Being a good advocate. Patients are very vulnerable, so they need a nurse who can speak on their behalf about their concerns to the healthcare team and ultimately help make a plan of care that's best for that patient. All right, you guys, we really have to remember that nursing is a team sport. And just like Janai said, you cannot do everything on your own. We all need help at one point or another. And in regards to Karen mentioning being a good patient advocate, if you are currently in nursing school or you have went through nursing school, you've probably heard the words patient advocate about 85 billion times. We're taught all throughout nursing school that nurses are the members of the healthcare team that know these patients like the back of our hand. We know them better than anybody else. And so who else better than us as nurses to stand up for our patients and make sure that their needs, concerns, and issues are heard. As the nurse, you're gonna make sure that you are always in your patient's corner, day in and day out, making sure that happens. 
So I definitely, definitely agree with Karen in saying that being a good patient advocate is a very important quality of a nurse. Next up, we're gonna hear from Jason and Danielle as they share three more important traits of nurses. Accountability. Uh, you wanna have people's lives in your hand, people's health, uh, private information. So you have to be accountable for the mistakes that you make. Um, you have to be accountable for your patient. Uh, if you're a charge nurse, you gotta be accountable for your unit. And my second quality that I believe great nurses have is patience. Patience for your patients because some of them will test you at your limits. I've had several patients where I'd rather fight them than take care of them, but my tiny self cannot handle a lawsuit. So you have to realize that there's some people in general who just don't know how to express their anger or you have a lot of patients who are just in so much pain and anyone who talks to them will make things worse especially if you're not helping them with their pain. And there's a lot of things that patients just lash out at you, unfortunately, but you are still responsible for that patient, no matter what, you are still responsible for making sure they get their medications, that you check their vital signs, that you made sure they got through their procedures for the day, um, because they're still your patient. At the end of the day, they still need to be taken care of, whether they like it or not, and whether you like it or not. And a great nurse always remembers that having patience will save you for the day and from losing your license. My last thing is adaptability. Uh, you have to be able to adapt in nursing because you aren't guaranteed the unit that you work in. People float all the time. Uh, I know in the hospital where I work at, I'm, I, I never had a unit since I've been working there, come to think of it. I've never had a unit that I've just stayed on. I've always bounced around. So you have to be prepared to go from this environment to that environment and be okay with it and, and prepare to thrive in it because you know you don't wanna be miserable going to work. All right, so honestly, it's important to have patience in any field that you are dealing and working with people, but it is especially important to have patience in the field of nursing. Just like Danielle said, you are gonna have people who work your absolute last nerve, but at the end of the day, it is still your job to take care of them. That is what you're there for at the end of the day. So you really have to learn how to exercise and strengthen that patience. As far as adaptability, so much of nursing is problem solving and coming up with solutions based on the events that occur and pop up throughout your day. And so you really have to learn how to roll with the punches, be adaptable, and be able to navigate to those solutions that are best for you and your patients. Not only that, but just in general, the feel of nursing is always changing, new technology is coming out, updated ways of doing things are always being learned. And so as someone who's a nurse, you are a lifelong learner. You have to remember to always adapt to the ever-changing medical field and the new knowledge that comes out along the way. Now, last up, we're going to hear from Alexa and Janai, who share what might arguably be the most important quality of this video, which is being a nurse who has a heart full of love, being a loving and caring nurse. I think the biggest one would be that they have a lot of love in their heart because they carry that love into their environment, into every action that they do, into patient care. And I even think that it helps patients heal faster. And also the love that they have in their heart is contagious. So it just makes everybody around them happy. And then my third one, third quality that I think is the most important is caring. And it's funny because you would think that all nurses are caring, right? But they're not, and it's so sad to say. It's easy to get caught up in the emotions of all the things we have to do. And it's draining. So a lot of nurses just clock in and clock out and don't really care for their patients deeply because when you do that, it shows and you advocate for your patients and you make a difference and you actually help them to heal more and they feel seen. Being a caring nurse is so, so important and 
we all should strive to be that. So be a caring nurse. I just love everything that both of these ladies said. It is undeniable that energy can be felt and it is contagious. A lot of times patients are going to be low energy because they are ill and are recovering. So imagine being a patient in this state where you're already low energy and having someone take care of you who is also very low energy, negative, not much love or compassion to share with you. It would probably be very hard to get better, wouldn't it? Just like plants who are told positive things and end up flourishing and growing beautifully, we humans need that positivity and bright words around us to really help us to thrive. And that is what nurses have to do. We have to be that positive energy and that person that is full of love, pouring that out to our patients so that they can have that opportunity to get better. And like Janai said, you can really tell when people are just going through the motions, clocking in, clocking out and don't truly care about their job or their patient. So like these two wonderful ladies said, let's make sure that we are nurses who show love. All right, you guys, so that is it. Once again, we have made it to the end of another video. I just wanna give a huge shout out to all my nurses again. Thank you all so much for being so selfless to take the time and record some clips to be part of this video with me today. Quite honestly, I couldn't have made this video without you guys, so I really appreciate your time. And thank you all for tuning into this video with me today. I hope you guys are enjoying this Nurses Answer series just as much as I'm enjoying hearing the answers from my old classmates and putting these videos together for you guys. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment what question you want answered by the nurses next and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos from me. Last thing I wanna say is just thank you all so much for tuning into this video with me today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye guys.